Hello viewers, today we will talk about GitLab, GitHub and Bitbucket. In industry these are the three more, uh, most popular uh, tool. So let's see what is uh, GitLab, what is GitHub and Bitbucket. Every developer is using one of these. So let's uh, try to clear the confusion and difference between uh, all these three and which to choose and why. What is Git? Git is the source control management tool which manages uh, files by tracking the following who modified and when it is modified, which files has changed and what is the change, what is file added and what is file deleted. Git tracking system helps us to check whether the modification done by the individual user commit ID and what is the change made with the commit. GitHub, Bitbucket and GitLab as the Git are the Git host provider. These hosted services allow us to create the repository in remote Git server, initialize the local Git repository and add the remote repository URL, give access to multiple contributors. Each contributor can clone the repository to the local machine. It can pull changes when other contributors update the remote repository. It push changes to the remote repository. It reset back to the commit history as required. GitHub is practically a household name among developers around the world and good for uh, and it is for good reason it is the largest open source repository in the world. The sheer size of the GitHub community makes it one of the most important software development platform to come into existence. However, its size alone is not the only thing that makes GitHub a special for development teams. There are many features as well which are beneficial in GitHub. So first is the version control system. Uh, so version control system feature includes VCS tools uh, along with a bunch of instruments that improve uh, that improve in one way or another using these tools. For example, GitHub offers draft for pull request notification for code reviewers, protected balance, uh, branches and, review and reviews between assigned individuals and team. The platform also provides code spaces, uh, a GitHub cloud development environment. Second is the project management uh, tool uh, which facilitates the version control system workflow with tasks and issues virtualization, bug tracker and wikis. Uh, role management is also available on the platform. Another uh, GitHub feature is CI/CD automation. Uh, on the GitHub, consists of con uh, continuous integration and continuous uh, deployment automation, and such services as uh, GitHub Pages along with the GitHub Marketplace. The first one allows the creation of simple web pages, and the second provides integration and application for the GitHub users. GitHub is well secured uh, with two-factor authentication for logging in, status check, and code scanning for vulnerability elimination and security alerts for the team members. Now let's uh, look at the GitLab. So GitLab uh, may not be as popular as GitHub, but it uh, it has a lot of offer, uh, lot of features as well. It has a lot to offer for developers looking for the cloud-based home for their code bases. GitLab is especially well suited for DevOps workflows and con condensed features that supports them. Just like the previous VCS, GitLab is remote host for repository. It was created by a team of uh, two developers, one from UK and another from the Netherlands, and they put out on the market in 2014. But the GitLab does not just store the code and facilitates collaboration. It does much more. So look at uh, let's look at the features. So GitLab version control system includes wide variety of features besides basic version control instruments. There are tools that aims to provide uh, that aims to uh, to divide a workflow between a repository and local machines into s a smaller and more e efficient control stages. For example, GitLab offers push request rules, merge request approvals, and merge request drafts and protected uh, the branches. Similarly, it is uh, it provides simple migration from previous Git uh, providers to GitLab. Another <coughs> Feature is in order to manage projects faster and better, there are planning tools available such as issues, tracker list, assigning to projects, and time tracking. Supervision of general business performance is included in the package as well. Next benefit is regarding the security measures. The platform uh, pr proposes code quality reports, vulnerability management, and infrastructure as a code security scanning, dynamic application security testing, and dynamic API security testing. Now let's move to the Bitbucket. So Bitbucket is intended for use by team that leverages at least in Jira, a bug tracker, uh, turned full-scale work management solution. In addition to Git, Jira boasts Express Agile method, Agile method implements, including Kanban, Scrum boards. Uh, Bitbucket offers native integration with Jira, making it ideal for team that prefer it. Bitbucket is one of the today's uh, three. Uh, famous Git version control system originally launched in 2008 and in 2010 the service was acquired by Atlassian. Atlassian is uh, quite famous among the corporation for organizing tools such as Trilio, Jira and Confluence. Not having as many features as GitLab or, Git, or GitHub, Bitbucket attracts companies with a seamless integration due to its parent company. 
So let's look at the features uh, of Bitbucket. Uh, first is the version control system uh, tool uh, from Bitbucket includes all the standard features of any VCS. The main distinction is that this service introduces the project structure of repositories as it keeps the main focus on integrated tools and their sim symbiosis. Next is the project management. Uh, so project management uh, in Bitbucket is stronger suit having native integration with Jira, Confluence, Trilio, Bamboo and Opsgenie. This version control system uh, flow all the inner process even CSD deployment through the mentioned platform. Next benefit is CSD automation. Uh, it is uh, provided by Bitbucket in integration with Jira uh, first of all and it focus on the integration deployment and automate dev to deployment. Next is the security. Uh, security procedure includes auto automated vulnerability monitoring, pull request scanning, and security dashboard with corresponding data. So let's uh, compare uh, these three. Uh, so first of all, with private repositories, uh, GitHub provides free private repositories to its users, and GitLab also provides free repositories to its users, and Bitbucket uh, provide uh, also provide private uh, repositories. Uh, free public repositories provided by GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket. Uh, in terms of integrated CI functionality, the integrated CI functionality is not provided by GitLab. One has to use a third-party tool for this function. Uh, for GitHub, uh, it is not provided. Uh, in terms of GitLab, uh, the integrated CI functionality is provided by GitLab. And Bitbucket, the integrated CI functionality is provided by Bitbucket. So only GitHub doesn't have its own uh, third-party. Um, so you have to use third-party in terms of, uh, if you use GitHub, uh, it doesn't have its uh, functionality uh, for integrated CI. Uh, next is for file storage. So GitHub has uh, the, capa the capacity to store larger files. Uh, GitLab has the capacity to store larger files. Bitbucket also has the capacity to store larger files. In terms of open source, GitHub is uh, also not an open source platform. It provides limited feature in free version. Uh, in terms of uh, open source for GitLab, uh, GitLab is open source platform. Users can access all the features at zero cost. For Bitbucket, Bitbucket is not an open source. The platform provides some feature, but it's not fully open. And for integration, uh, GitHub can integrate with third-party tools. Uh, GitLab uh, can also integrate with third-party uh, as well as Bitbucket uh, can also be integrated with the third-party tool. If you look to the pricing comparison, so GitHub up to five users is zero. Uh, Bitbucket also zero. GitLab also gives uh, asks you for zero uh, for more than five users. Uh, for open source project, uh, Bitbucket charges two uh, dollar per user per month and GitLab is free. For private repository up to five users, uh, GitHub uh, asks you $25 per month. Uh, Bitbucket is free and Git, uh, GitLab is also free. For more than five users, uh, GitHub asks you for $9 per month, uh, Bitbucket $2 per month and GitLab is free. So why to choose uh, and when to choose and why? Uh, what is best suited for you? So it is based on your need actually. So if you are going to work only on open source project, GitHub would be a good choice since uh, one can upload their own projects and it acts also acts like an online portfolio. While GitLab can be used if you are an enterprise, it has free private and public repository which doesn't restrict on the number of users. If you are someone who wants to host multiple repository and work with many colleagues, then GitLab might be a good choice for you. Uh, for Bitbucket, it is most popular among many organizations because of its user interface. It also has Mercurial support. If you are an organization and you want to host your project, Bitbucket would be a great choice. So if you want to uh, contribute to the other open source project, then GitHub uh, is is the one. These days, GitHub acts as an online port uh, portfolio for a person where uh, one can upload some of its own projects and mention the GitHub accounts in their resume. Many organizations use GitLab, GitLab while they want their code base to be private. Bitbucket also restrict you to work with only five people for uh, free. GitLab.com is completely free. So if you want to work with DigitalOcean, then GitLab is the best. And when you want to uh, want to you want to host a uh, your 1000 repositories and 100 colleagues somewhere then gitlab.com is the solution. Bitbucket is one of the most popular while it comes as organization's point of view. Bitbucket cloud has mercurial support. Bitbucket also offers free private repositories so only members can access the code base. So it is totally based on your need which one to choose. So thank you so much for watching today video and if you think the videos are helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel.